Okay, so today um we're gonna be doing something different. I have written a book, um, but I wrote it on my Kindle. So long story short, um, I had to copy it and paste it somewhere else to get it on my computer so I could take a video of me reading it. Um, so I put it in the video of what it's about, the tear, which was my very first video. So it's in the comment section there if you want to go read it for yourself. Um, but let me just, I'm going to read it. So here we go. It's going to take a little longer than normal things that I do. Just a minute. Okay, here we go. Chapter 1. The phone call. Phone rings. Ah, uh, not now, Lily, said Elizabeth, as she hit her phone several times, missing the decline button on the screen and accepting it. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, guess what, said Lily with it enthusiastically. <laughs> Let me guess. New job again? sighed Elizabeth as if she heard that every day of her life. Yep, but Lily started, but got cut off, cut off mid-sentence by Elizabeth. Let me guess, this one's different. Lily, never say that again, please. I want to sleep. At this point, Elizabeth looked at the clock. Lily, it's freaking 5 a.m. What is wrong with you? said Elizabeth. I didn't finish. I didn't finish, and I'm fine, but it's a week, been a long week says Lily yawning. Funny, it must be a long this time you've had a job yet. They both giggled. It's a night shift, Lizzie, Lil said Lily, finally finishing her sentence. I want you to come. Come, it's so eerie down here, Lily said. Down? Where are you? I'm at a factory complex. It's been a while since I've seen you. I, I, said the, um, I, I just thought Lily started, but again got interrupted by Elizabeth. Oh, stop, I'm coming, silly. Plus one more word, and I'm telling the whole school your brother's nickname for your brother's nickname for you. Elizabeth was the only one who knew Lily's nickname, Little Lily Bear, and the school would go nuts if they knew. Okay, see you tomorrow, L Lizzie, said Lily. Lily said, and with that, they both went to bed. Chapter 2 The Factory The next night, Elizabeth found herself in front of a giant factory with a big sign that said, Help Wanted. She inhaled and exhaled very slowly. Lily walked up beside her, beaming. You ready? said Lily enthusiastically. We'll see. I mean, I guess I, uh, well, Elizabeth said Elizabeth, fumbling over her words. Ah, no worry. It's going to be great, Lizzie, said Lily, patting Elizabeth on the back. 
and walking inside as soon as Elizabeth got in, she found herself in a huge maze of boxes, machines, and spare parts that seemed to admit an eerie presence when she walked by. Lily, said, said Elizabeth, what do they make here? Lily glanced at the spare parts and then off into the inky, a bit, inky black shadows lining the walls. Robots, far ahead of their time, I might add. What? R robots? You are insane. I'm out of here, said Elizabeth, as the entrance door slammed shut with a loud thunk clang noise. That's sketchy, Lily. What is going on? Well, the front door is shut at 11.30 p.m. and don't open until 5 a.m., so we have to wait or find the way or find the back exit, Lily replied. With that, Elizabeth ran off, hoping to find an exit. Lily pressed her hand into her forehead and slid it down her face slowly, getting angry. Wait, they'll get you, wait! Who will? The robots? Elizabeth cried back, concerned. Yes! L replied Lily. Never run, stay calm, and be quiet. She continued. Fridge, Lily, look out! Yelled Elizabeth at the top of her lungs. Shh! Be quiet, Lily said suddenly. A huge metal robot went up to Lily. It had big claws like a lobster. Its neck was made of wires, and it had razor-sharp teeth in several rows. Its head was big and flat on top. It had no eyes, but it sure had hearing. Now, what Lily said made sense. Chapter 3, The Dark Descent the terror approached Lily, slowly making shling thud, shling thud noises as its claw-like legs dragged and furiously stamped around grinding of metal and mechanical engineering was all Elizabeth could hear other than the pounding of her own heart. Lily gave the terror a look that said, We've been through this. You're not scary. But the only thing that came to Elizabeth, Elizabeth's mind was how does she keep calm? The terror tapped its lobster-like claws together the, the, to the tune of a song Elizabeth almost hummed but along, but Lily swiftly put her hand on her mouth and shushed her with her other hand. Then again, shling thud, shling thud, went the terror walking around and then left after the sound of a muffled murmur of mouth squeaking. What was that? Elizabeth shouted, startling Lily. Not so loud. It's not deaf. No need to yell. It's just a terror. Just wanted to see if anyone was here. But it can't see. So, just don't be too loud. Silence fell over them. Then a f flash. Then Elizabeth noticed another thing that stood out. Lily, said Elizabeth, why are you wearing slippers? They both giggled. They make the least sound, okay? The next thing we need to do is get a flashlight, Lily replied. And then they both looked around, and Lily looked down and realized she was in a puddle of water and oil. Remember, she remembered that. That's where she left it on a shelf. She grabbed it up and shone it at Elizabeth. Ah, stop that. Ah, stop that. What does that say? At, stop that. Elizabeth giggled. Kin canine, 12 o'clock, said Lily. What? said Elizabeth. Don't show fear, Lily, replied with a grin. A metal dog inched closer, lurking around in the darkness. Churning gears and hinges in need of oil made strange noises. The dog was made of neatly arranged wires and had a visor of four eyes and ears that seemed to come to a point at the end. It tilted its head at Elizabeth. Chapter 4. Canine in the Terror. Show no fear? Show no fear? What, Lily? You must be going mad, yelled Elizabeth, trembling. No, it, won't, it will not hurt you if you aren't scared, Lily patted Canine on the head. He's just a little doggy. Come on. See? Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
canine plopped down on the floor and showed his stomach by rolling over. Wow, that's crazy, Elizabeth said, then canine barked like mad. Oh, freak, said Lily as the terror came back. Um, canine pounced on it. Run, Elizabeth, run, said Lily. What about canine, said Elizabeth. He'll be fine. He, plus, he's one of many. You are unique. Let's go, replied Lily. And they both left hand in hand. And with that, we end our adventure for this time. See you next book.